some sunshine through. Now we've still got a fairly strong northeasterly breeze across southern areas and that's going to bring that low cloud in again overnight. It'll run in around the southern Pennines, probably getting as far south as the M4 by the end of the night and turning quite misty on the coast with a little bit of drizzle. Further north, clear skies up over northern parts of Scotland will allow temperatures low enough for a touch of ground frost there, but I think over these southern areas it'll be another mild night. Now there is a chance of some low cloud turning at misty over southern Scotland for a time up on the hills, and up on the hills over southern parts of Northern Ireland some low cloud as well. But in the north of Northern Ireland, clear skies will allow some patchy fog to form. Looking further south still in the Channel Islands, there's a chance for the rumble of thunder overnight. And that threat of some showers there is brought by the fact that this low pressure area to the south of the British Isles will edge a little bit further northwards during the next 24 hours. It's going to start off fairly grey once again tomorrow in these uh, eastern and central areas, but it will brighten up. We'll still have that fairly strong northeasterly wind, so although a sunny start in the south, I think those winds taking the edge off the temperature, but by the afternoon they will drop quite markedly, so it's going to feel warmer in the afternoon than it has done today. Temperatures up to 20 Celsius, actually feeling more like 20 Celsius. Although along this northeast coast with the wind coming in off the North Sea, still fairly cool air at 9 or 10 degrees. Plenty more sunshine to come though over Scotland and over Northern Ireland during the afternoon. We will find some showers developing though, that's the bad news in the south and some of those showers could turn out to be heavy and sundry and that's all because that low will be creeping a little bit further northwards. Looking a little bit further ahead as we start to move into the holiday weekend, low pressure is really going to start to dominate the weather over the British Isles so it looks as though we're going to get quite a mixed bag of weather. To start off with though on Friday, a bit of a repeat performance of Thursday but we will find the sundry showers edging a little bit further northwards. And as we move into the weekend, well, those sundry showers just about everywhere, perhaps even some longer spells of heavy rain. Through the weekend, I think the more persistent rain will move eastwards, but we'll find some cooler, showery weather coming in from the west. 